Hey guys, what's going on? This is my new set of Nipix wrench pliers. This is the seven and a half, the 10 inch, and the 12 inch. I bought these in a set uh, on sale on Amazon. I'll post the link uh, down in the video description down there. But I bought these on Amazon, and today I wanna answer the question, does this set of wrench pliers really replace a set of adjustable wrenches or crescent wrenches? Is it Does it directly replace them? And after my usage, what I can tell you is that these wrenches complement crescent wrenches, but they don't replace them. And what I mean by that is, in certain situations, I prefer grabbing this. In certain situations, I prefer grabbing this. Crescent wrenches, in my opinion, have less adjustability than the Nipix wrench pliers do, so they can, uh, they can accommodate less fasteners per size. However, I feel that these are safer under high torque. So if I'm really putting some body weight on a bolt, I far prefer these over the wrench pliers simply because these just feel more stable. They feel like they have a better bite and it doesn't take as much pressure in my, my hand to grip the pliers to get that grip that I need. Okay, so I like these in higher torque applications. I also like that they're one-handed so I can adjust them one-handed and I'm really used to doing this already so I can almost do two at the same time when I'm using one on each side, okay? These are a two-man show in terms of hands. You have to, I mean, you can kind of do it with one hand. I can try to do it here, but you really have to use two hands to adjust these. So they're a little bit inconvenient if you're trying to use two at the same time. So that is a bit of a bummer. However, what you'll see is that even this little seven and a half inch guy here has almost just as much adjustability as this big 12 inch wrench. So if we line them up here, it is like, almost the same, right? And that is one of the advantages of these Nix wrench pliers is the design allows you to go so wide on the jaws. So when you're using these in low torque applications, having one of these in your hand can replace like three different crescent wrenches, okay? And in sizes. So that's what I really like because there are times when you don't need a lot of leverage, you just need a bigger grip or a bigger bite. And that is exactly what these will do. So if you're working on an air conditioner or you're working on pipes or something underneath, you know, plumbing underneath a sink or something like that, oftentimes this single tool can get you through an entire job just because it has so much adjustability. Whereas with these, you'd be doing a lot of adjustments, grabbing different sizes. Um, also, what I really like about these is the profile. So as you get bigger with crescent wrenches, they tend to get thicker. Okay, but with the with the Nipex, as you can see, they're really thin and you still have that that big uh, big opening there. And once again, great under low torque applications. That's where these really shine. But as soon as you get into the big heavy stuff, these are the way to go. So let's go ahead and go over to the vise. I got some uh, bolts set up here and I'll torque them down with the torque wrench just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my torque wrench up to 50 foot pounds here. As you guys can see, 50 foot pounds. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this up. Let me go ahead and grab the impact here just to. All right. So, gonna go ahead and put 50 foot pounds on this. There we go. I need to tighten up my vise. At 50 foot pounds, one handed adjustment, we can go ahead and grab this bolt, make sure it's nice and tight, and break it as you can see there, kind of an awkward angle. I'm trying to stay out of your guys' way on the camera, but broke it, no problem. Let's go ahead and grab the torque wrench, get her back at 50, and then I will use the same size wrench pliers. So these are the 12 inch, so this is the previous crescent wrench that I used. As you can see, they're about the same size. So the one thing that's tough with these is that it takes two hands. So I have to grab with both hands to pull this pin to get these where I need it, and then you have to get it just right. This takes some getting used to, and if you adjust too much, then you have too much of a, of a distance between the handles. So you have to really like kind of dial it in, like even that there, if you look, way too much distance. So I found myself kind of having to adjust these more and more and trying to get used to them. And the, the adjustments are very fine, which makes it difficult. Not that that's bad, that there's more adjustments, but there you go. So that's, for me, that's the optimum uh, position right there. So go ahead and grab onto these, put some pressure, and there you go. So I feel like with these, 
the grip is really good. You have to put a lot of pressure. Some people told me that once you clamp onto these, all you have to do is press down. For me, that was definitely not the case. Um, when you put that amount of pressure on this and you are pushing down on it, this tends to open up on you. So you really have to squeeze these to get a good grip. Whereas with the adjustable wrench, you don't have to do that. You just put pressure on it. And that's one of the reasons I really like this for the higher torque applications. However, if we take a look at the little seven and a half inchers, I mean, even with these little tiny pliers, I have enough adjustment. I'm even having to adjust them smaller right now. I can grab onto something big like this. So if it's not torqued down tight, it's easy to break loose, right? So they just really have their own uses. Um, I'm glad these are in my toolbox, but they're not a replace all. These are really great for home improvement stuff, doing plumbing, working on stuff with a variety of different sizes. These are your my go-to. They're really, really nice. And they're a lot lighter than a uh, equivalent size uh, crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench. But overall, they do not replace a crescent wrench. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I will post this whole set here down in the video description to all three of these. I think they were about 140 bucks for the set when they were on sale. So if you're interested in them, check them out. Hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check out my channel and subscribe if you guys like this video. And we'll catch you in the next one.